By now, you've probably heard or seen the acronym COVA plenty of times. The COVA Learning Approach uses learner center principles that enable shift of control and ownership to you, the learner. In contrast, most teaching approaches focus on the instructor. Researchers point to learner-centered approaches as key components of self-regulated learning environments where learners exercise control over the selection and resources that will be gathered and disseminated. With ties to well-established constructivist theories, the COVA learning approach operates under the assumption that when you create a significant learning environment where you give your learners choice, ownership, and voice through authentic learning opportunities, deep and meaningful learning will result. When you combine a change in thinking about learning, a change in the approach to learning, and a change in the learning environment, you will start to make the shift to the learner's mindset. This is not a quick fix, nor something that you can do in isolation. Research and experience confirm that we learn most deeply through effective collaboration and feedback from our peers. In this program, collaborative activities are structured so that you can bring your ideas to the group, examine and test those ideas, and then apply those refined and strengthened ideas in your own projects. Collaboration in this program is not used as a consensus-driving process. Rather, it is part of the significant learning environment, where learners are immersed and engaged in productive thinking and problem-solving, and emerge with enhanced knowledge and skills that they can apply in their own classrooms or in their professional development. Throughout this program, you've been asked to share your ideas with your learning communities that you have formed. We trust that you are finding that the more you help others, the more they're willing to help you. We now want you to expand your horizons and ask you to join a few learning networks outside of your immediate learning community, and then post and share those networks with your colleagues in the program. The key to learning and knowing can be strengthened through social collaboration and peer sharing, so find a few networks that interest you and share them back with your group. You might be surprised at the networks you find that may help you achieve your learning goals, or perhaps you're already part of some learning networks. These are okay to share with your group as well. Have fun with this and happy sharing.